people have been asking me how I get my Grinch so sparkly. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. All right, so for this order, they are wanting apple cinnamon. So I grab my beads and then I'm going to use my Peridot Green Holographic Fine Cut Glitter from Mr. Fancy Pants. You can use my code BGC, link to my bio. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there a good amount. And then all I do is I just kind of dust the whole thing. Just go in circles. Make sure you're getting that hot, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is take the extras Put it on a paper and put it back into the bottle. All my molds, I have them pre-weighed out. So I'm going to weigh out 3.4 ounces of beads. I want to say thank you to Kaylin for this. She gave me this idea. Perfect. Well, it's a little over. So I'm going to take some of this out and put it back into the container until I have 3.4 ounces. So from here, I'm going to use my basil green mica powder I got from Amazon. And then I'm just gonna put a couple of little scoops into this little container. All right, so now that we have our beads colored, I went ahead and I put half of the beads into here. I bake in two layers. So I bake at 220 for 10 minutes each when I'm doing one mold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and we'll be right back. So now I'm going to take my spatula I got from Amazon. I don't like to use the ones from the dollar store because they stick to the mold and ruin it. I have these in my Amazon uh, storefront, into my bio, and then I'm just gonna lightly press down around the mold to get the most of the detail. Okay, now I'm gonna put the rest of the beads on and put it back in for another 10 minutes at 320. Now that it is done baking, we're gonna demold it and decorate it. Forgot to mention, this is acrylic paint in a pre precision tip bottle. I'm running out of time, but I'm going to take my black sharpie and trace around it, and I'll be right back to show you the results. And there he is. I hope that helps you guys.